Okay, um, I'm not really sure how to start this. Um, this weekend, um, a former Android developer and friend of mine, Katharina Liebenberger, um, aka Pale, um, passed away after a long history of mental illness and, quite frankly, horrible things. <laughs> That had happened to her and this is all unscripted obviously so bear with me <laughs> um, a friend of a friend of mine um, when I told her about the about Pale's death um, recommended me a, a video series um, called Diminished, or no Diminish, and it's uh, it's a it's essentially an um, uh, so-called unfiction uh, serial. It's a let's play or a fictional let's play. Let's let's call it this um, of a guy whose twin sister died, and she apparently left him this game, and. Um, He's kind of, as part of an agreement, a promise he made to her before her death, he uh, he plays it. And it's kind of, well, I don't want to say mas masqueraded because it's just like part of the art form, I suppose. But it's not clear that this is fictional, or at least it wasn't to, it wasn't, um, to me. But um, I didn't watch the whole thing yet. But what this basically got me thinking, because a couple of months before her death, Pale posted a very disturbing text on her Facebook wall and um, where she kind of described what she was going through, most of which I already knew, but it was, this was very public as well. And um, at the end of the post, she actually said, um, don't believe me in this case, play my game ABC. And she put up a download link. and. I know this game, I haven't played it obviously, but um, I know this was what she used in her portfolio and uh, when she applied for university, which is where we met back in, all the way back in 2011, and it's an RPG maker game. I believe it's quite long, it's quite complex, and um, I already played the first, I think, hour or so, and um, yeah, I don't think anybody has ever played this. Um, I asked around, like, most of her friends knew about it, but nobody ever played it, which is kind of ironic. Um, so, this is my, this is, the idea is basically, sadly, this is not fictional, like, uh, diminished, but um, the idea is to honor Pale's legacy and, you know, make this available I guess share this story of hers whatever it may look like I don't I honestly don't know I don't know I don't know if it's how personal it is I don't know how dark it is I don't know how good it is but um, I know that this is I believe a very important project to her and nobody's ever seen it so here I am and it's also obviously a kind of way for me to process everything her parents really like the idea as well so here we go um, a quick note um, obviously as you can see from the menu this game is in German um, and I will be putting up subtitles for the dialogue um, so if you're not German or if you don't speak German make sure to enable subtitles yeah here we go This was a writer? I'm not really sure. Saikuru.
Yeah, that's where her nickname came from, was uh, her favorite song, Pale Blue Dot. So this means a uh, order, but I'm going to put up the subtitles as well. It's a very interesting way of phrasing this. Your body is cold. Interesting. played the first hour so I'm probably not gonna comment as much because I just can't really fake it. <laughs> I can't like sit there pretending I don't know what's happening but um, I'll let you know once I get to the point or you will you will know uh, when I get to the point uh, where I stopped last time.
aren't my these are her safe games actually which is kind of weird to think about right like that this is the safe game of someone who's not around anymore I don't think I'm gonna overwrite this um, I wonder I mean I don't want to sound pretentious or like I'm overanalyzing things, but I find it very interesting that the main character doesn't speak. Um, I haven't played that much yet, so I don't know how this is all going to turn out, but I find it interesting like the, you know, I've obviously, I'm, I'm uh, neurotypical, but I've been collaborating or like writing a lot with a, an artistic woman for my new book. and. Um, I never talked talked about this with Pale so much, but um, it's, it's interesting how this other woman she how she often describes like the, how overwhelming everything can feel, or like how it often feels like you're not really well equipped to deal with the world. You lack the tools to to, to deal with the world um, appropriately, and I just kind of found it interesting, like the idea that this character can't really articulate herself. Again, I don't really know if this means anything or if this is just coincidence. Then again, you know, um, as a writer myself, I can <laughs> I can safely confirm that nothing... <laughs> I mean, unless you really, like, write for a contract or something like this, uh, nothing you, you ever write is really coincidental, right? So everything you, you do means something, even if you're not aware of it. And I don't mean it doesn't necessarily have to be super profound or like it's just it's a reflection of your your psyche right um, and I found it quite interesting um, how a lot how, how much I learned about myself just um, watching other people play my games or read my books singular and maybe I'm also going to learn more about her. I'm kind of scared, to be honest, because I didn't tell you this, but when you fire up the game, um, there's like there are two images there which I didn't want to show. Um, wait, I think I need to interact with this. Okay. Um, Alright, so yeah, there were like two images, two um, anime images, but they were very gruesome, very disturbing. And there was some Japanese kanji writing, I think, and I didn't know what it what it meant. And I just, it, it, they show every time you fire up the game. And I believe that, that she added this, I, I don't think this was in her university application, because this is literally the first thing you see. And while I don't think that the um, professors played the whole game, Obviously, I'm pretty sure they fired up the game once, so I believe that she edited this shortly before her death. And this is very disturbing, and I am kind of want to find out what the writing says, the Japanese, the kanji symbols. Um, she, she was, I would say, fluent in Japanese. She always, she always said she, you know, she always said her Japanese was very bad, blah blah, but she was, you know, very... She was she was not one to really take the spotlight anyway, so um, and she lived in Japan for quite a while, where some things happened. Okay, I think this is teaching me how to jump, right? Yeah. I wonder if she made the music herself. I believe she did. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's like a stock track or something. But I know that Pale also made music, so could be hers. I don't know how much of the artworks are hers as well. 
she also drew. I'm not good at this. Um, she was. She was incredibly intelligent. Um, so in Germany, um, the best possible score you can get for your high school degree is usually 1.0, which means you got like straight A's. Um, but if you get an A plus in every single subject, then uh, you can get your score to a 0 0.8. Uh, sorry, did I did I mix it up? So normally it's one point one point zero. So it's one it's it's one. And if you if you if you score perfectly on every test perfectly, then you get like uh, zero point eight. And um, that was her her score. <laughs> and she was never like she didn't like talking about it, <laughs> which makes it even more impressive because I always have to tell people about my achievements to kind of mask my insecurities, I guess. Who doesn't? Okay, so this is his house. Um, so I'm not gonna interact with everything because I already know what I need to do. So this is a letter. Right. Here's some books. Yeah, so all the books are, they have the pages are all blank. Very interesting. Okay, I think, I think I'm supposed to go upstairs. There's a Bible. But it's also a blank. So I'm actually playing this earlier in the evening just because I, I really don't want this to be the last thing I play before bed. Just because it's like so weird like to, to play this game right now.
So the first time I played this, this took me forever <laughs> to find the the chest. Um, here we go. Uh, thankfully, I know where to, know where to go now. So. I mean, would you have thought it was outside? Like, I, I, I searched the entire house, but... Yeah. It's really funny how clunky these RPG Maker games are, like... How, you know, they ask you to confirm every other action. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure she drew, the, she drew these herself. The portraits. So this is where the story gets interesting now. Oh, that was... I really like this uh, theme. It's very catchy, simple but catchy, and it just really portrays or it really conveys a certain kind of mood. I really like how nothing in this world dies, at least not to the point where I've played. Everything just disappears. It's really weird. Hmm. 
Good night, mute girl. Alright, time is safe. I'm just gonna check my recording. Okay, so my recordings, everything I look fine, everything seems in order. You know, one thing that I don't really understand about, so I thought about, you know, this uh, diminished, like I haven't watched it. I, I only watched, okay, that's not entirely true. I watched a couple of episodes and I think, I think it's really well written. But the one thing that I personally don't understand is like, I do understand that it's an art form, but it feels a bit weird to me to kind of not inform people that it's fictional. I mean, I know this has been done with movies like Blair Witch Project, but obviously everybody knew <laughs> Blair Witch Project wasn't real, right? I mean, or at least every adult knew. And it just feels kind of weird to me to make up a story about... I don't know. I mean... I think it's like I, I I have to I have to finish watching it because it's supposed to be really good and my friend said it would probably help me, um, so that's worth something something. But I just know maybe because I'm not much of an actor I just couldn't you know act out like such a role. Anyway, it's just my thoughts. Here's a room. Kind of interesting that he has a room for this girl, right? Teddy, I can name him. <laughs> yeah, that's very pale. What should we name him? I really don't know what this means, but I think I'm gonna call him Eno. Yeah, so that was kind of interesting, the bookshelf. I'm gonna go through all the books. Yeah, but this is really interesting because, as I said, we both really loved Haruki Murakami. Probably Hardboiled Wonderland is also my favorite. No, it's either Hardboiled Wonderland or um, mm, not Kafka on the Shore. I really liked um, Colorless uh, Mr. Tsutsuki. I know it's not, I know it wasn't that well received or some people said it's like, he's like re rehashing his, the same thing over and over, but I just really like this, the feeling of this book, like the loss of friendship and all that. But I think her favorite was Hotboy Wonderland. I want to I want to see what it says in the Lolita excerpt because last time I skipped past it by accident Okay, interesting. I haven't finished uh, Lolita yet. I, I, I started and I really want to finish reading it, but 
Um, I haven't gotten around to it yet. I just know that it's supposed to be really, really well written and um, Pale really liked... Was it Vladimir Nabokov? I think that's that's the author's name, right? She also liked his other books. She, she recommended them to me when I um, um, visited her in, in, in a psychiatry. So we, we went for a walk and we, we would talk about books. So that was last year. I'm really trying to figure out how much, how much to share. Because you know, it's also for me and you know, for all I know, I will never be putting these live. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I think that was the first chapter. I really think this game is going to be quite long. I mean, I'm level one and her save game, her characters are level 11. So yeah. I think this jumping is so cute. I'm really, really curious what's behind all this. The whole A city, B city, C city, um, and the animals and the humans. I'm, I'm really curious. Like, I mean, you can say a lot of things about this game and the style, but I mean, I believe she was 17 when she wrote that or 18, something like that. And it's really, it doesn't seem to be like your run of the mill uh, fantasy story. I mean, Again, I don't have, I haven't played that many RPG Maker games, so I don't really know. But um, I have no idea where this is going to go. And you know, knowing her short stories, um, I think it's going to be quite intense and quite well. There's this German word. It's called Kafkaesque, which means like. It gives up a very similar vibe to Kafka, uh, Franz Kafka's literature, so, yeah. So kite is an animal, apparently.
save real quick. I really wonder... Did anyone ever play this game? I know... There's one close friend of hers, or formerly close friends of a friend of hers, whom I haven't been able to get a hold of. And I would like to know if, if she played it. Because I don't think the professors played the whole thing. Like, they have so many, you know, applications to go through, I don't think they have the time. So that's really interesting, actually. There's another bookshelf. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> doesn't want to read. And if not, I mean, I'm, I'm honestly curious, did anybody ever see the story? Like, I don't want to sound dramatic or anything. Maybe she uploaded it somewhere. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't know if she did, if she did but it's like an interesting thought, right? Like, this has been around, so we studied together all the way back in 2011. So it's been a long time and it kind of makes me wonder if this story is kind of never, no one ever heard this story for 10 years. And I mean, even I now, um, I, I, haven't, I haven't started playing it. Didn't even get the idea. Like I, I always said, I wanted to play it, right? But you just, that's just what life is. Like you put, you, you put off so many things <laughs> and uh, now I'm playing it now that she's, uh, She's not here anymore, it's uh, weird. I feel very dramatic saying all this, but I think it's just... You know, it's just how it is, so... I don't know how else to, to put it. I think I would be a horrible Let's Player. <laughs> I'm not very entertaining to listen to. <laughs> Alright. I'm not skipping uh, through these dialogues too fast. So, into the basement. Is equipping this automatically or not? I don't think so. Yeah. Probably save. As I said, nothing ever dies. It'll just things just disappear. Ausgelöscht. How would you translate ausgelöscht? Annihilated, basically. But that sounds a lot more brutal in English than it sounds in German, actually. 
Last time I actually, the first time I tried this, I actually died. Oh man. This is very hard. No. No. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh well. I, it was. There was a lot of luck on the Wyvern's end. This thing looks really cute, this rice ball or whatever it is. But at the same time it's kind of disturbing that this comes right after the two images I edited out from the start. So it's kind of weird. Alright. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna edit this bit out. Okay, here we are. Really curious about the combat system. <laughs> and I am worried that there are gonna be uh, parts which will be incredibly difficult and I have no way of cheating my way past them, so. <laughs> but I, at the same time, I will have to, you know, win this because I really wanna see where the story ends. All right, so. Sorry, I just realized I shouldn't be skipping past this, it's just I've already seen all this. So, again, I'm a very bad <laughs> Let's Player. <laughs> right. Okay, I think I'm... I'm gonna stop here. Um... <sighs> because I'm kind of tired, but I will do another session today, tomorrow. Um, I'm probably gonna upload this tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, I think I feel quite good about this. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far, but again, like it's it's impossible to know where the story will lead. And honestly, I'm incredibly curious. Like, and I'm not just saying this because she was my friend and she was obviously very important to me, but. I really think that this is very interesting, like the story and it's just very different, like, yeah, I mean, like her, basically. Yeah, so that's it for now. And um, it feels very weird to say this, but maybe I will see some of you in the next episode. I know I will be continuing this, so. Thanks for watching, I guess.